This next tutorial will go over the basics of how to create a great image dispersion effect. This effect is great because it looks like the image is being torn apart, but in a way that looks realistic and graphically amazing. Let's learn how to do this together. I've opened, I've opened up an image of a man here. First, I'll start by creating a duplicate layer of the man in the background. Then I'll lasso over the man in the background layer. Right click and then do fill. Make sure it's set to content aware and it will let you fill in the background over the original man in the picture. We'll then select the entire model by using the quick selection tool. From here, depending on your Photoshop client, you can use Refine Edge or Select and Mask and give more of a refined edge to the hair on the model so we can pick up individual hairs and outlines. Before clicking OK on the Refine Edge, let's output the selection to a layer mask. Now you can see the model is on a separate background. Let's duplicate the layer now, then apply the mask we made from the previous layer. I'll rename this layer to the dispersion effect. Then I'll make a duplicate of this layer and rename it to man. Now I'll select the dispersion layer, then select filter, then liquify. Next, I'll warp the model using the Forward Warp tool so we can make sure we can have a nice canvas for our effect later. This will determine the size of the dispersion effect. Take your time with the liquify, then when you think you're done, hit OK. Now we'll make another mask, which we'll do by hitting Alt before clicking the New Mask button, the little circle in a rectangle so we fill the mask with black. This way our dispersion effect is hidden until we need it. Before we continue, make the original background layer with our picture of our man hidden so we can edit effects in. Now on our layer called man, we'll make a new mask with no black filled in, so just click the new mask button without holding any keys down. Once we've done that, Make sure you're on the Man Layers Mask. Make sure your brush is set to black for the foreground color. Select the Brush tool, then select a brush that will give a great dispersion effect. There are brushes out there for free that you can download that will give you the effect desired, so look for them. We'll edit the image to give a bit of a destroyed look. Then we'll switch to the Dispersion layer and its mask as well. Switch the color to white and start masking in, uncovering the warped layer we did earlier. This will give you the effect of a dispersion going onto the image and looks really great. Experiment with this feature. It will allow you to create some really interesting images.